Well, come to my world. Won't you come on in? Hello, Mary Meet, everybody. It's Michelle and Bree Delaney, and yes, my cat will probably be in here in a few minutes. Right now, he ran into the other room to check out the repaired bed. No, I guess he's done checking the bed. He's here now. Um, today, we're going to be talking about uh, some of my experiences in last week. And hopefully today we'll try to get some more of the story in. And um, for those of you who do not know the story completely, I'm going to have to go through more of the details. And if you've been keeping up with the vlogs, you kind of know what the story is. Um, let's start with the basics. Okay, we know they had the porch in the rear of the building, which is her fur escape. And unfortunately, it has been the kind of... Um, it's old. It's The building was built in 1860. And the porch um, had been patched and preyed on for many years. And uh, weather got into it, dry rot, carbon ants, you name it, they got into it, everything. So the porch was starting to crumble. The biggest problem was the porter porch that was crumbling was a tool shed that was on the, on the left side. Um, was just built on dirt. It wasn't built on a concrete footing or anything or stone footing. So the moisture, the the ants, the, everything got at it, and it started to eat away at the footing of the the shed. And over the years, the the the, the, the footing has sagged and sagged and sagged and sagged and sagged. Um, on top of that, the ceiling of the uh, tool shed also um, started to decay from leaking from all the water that had been on the porch for over you know a hundred plus years. So, under about 150 years. So, what happened was, is uh, after the, the last snow storm of this year, the the roof on the, the toll shed just got a little bit too much ice and it couldn't carry the load and it imploded. Just like that. And, um, well, obviously, Jimmy contacted his insurance company. His insurance company looked at it. They sent the fire marshal out to look at it because it's a fire escape. And the fire marshal said, you can't live in this. You can't have your tenants in this building. First of all, it's an occupational hazard. Second of all, it's a fire hazard because um, it's a fire escape. And they can't get out if there's a fire without, without risking the, the lives on the stairs, which are pretty rickety as they are. So you're going to have to put them up somewhere. Jimmy, without really giving much thought, said, well, okay, I'll put them up at a hotel. So he called hotels left and right, one after the other, and they all said, sorry, there's no room for that many families. And instead of keeping this cool, Jimmy should have realized, oh, wait a minute, I've got a building in the back that's empty. I could put the, some of the families in that, that building on the yellow house in the back because no one's living in it right now. And everybody would be happy. <laughs> he didn't do that. Uh, instead, he um, he freaked out and um, put us in a hotel. As I said before, it was ninety dollars a night. And so, of course, when he was getting his credit card, I, I a couple of times I mistakenly said it was two hundred two hundred seventy dollars. No, honey, it was actually. $900 for a 10-day stay um, per family. There was four families in the hotel, actually five, which means he was paying $4,500 for five families, plus um, taxes and everything like that. And he just wasn't very impressed with the price. And so he decided to look into having us stay in the porch because I mean in the yellow house in the back because he had not really had forgotten about the cats because you know he says like he said to me he says I worry about people you worry about cats well when you're legally blind <laughs> uh, worrying about the cats gets a little more problematic if you could see 2020 in the car um, I have a friend who has Asperger's he lives here too he doesn't he does have a driver's license but his car broke down permanently, and he junked it. So he is just as vexed about not being able to see his kitty as I am about not being able to see my cats. So, um, so I was taking the like I said yesterday's video. I was taking the bus in here, um, 
what I could to check on the cats. And I guess some little guardian angel must have spoken into Jimmy's ear and said to him, this isn't going to work for you as a business, and this isn't going to work for you ethically. Um, you got to come up with a better plan. Ethically isn't so much important, but business sense, you're going to go bankrupt if you had to pay for these all these rooms out of your own pocket. Um, so Jimmy, of course, said, Dah, yeah, I'm going to have to come up with a better arrangement. I guess somehow... You, his guardian angel must have said to him, his spirit guide said, Hey, uh, Jimmy, look, the one's living in the yellow house. Why don't you let them stay in the yellow house? At least dead. they'll be close to their cats. Michelle will be close to the studio, and and um, everybody will be happy. And that's what we're doing. Now, I, um, I, Jimmy said to me, he said, Why don't you move your whole bed in there? I said, I'm not carrying that mattress. It's a full-size mattress. It's really heavy. It's not... I'm not something I'm going to lug around. You know. Um, besides that, the the foundation on the mattress was kind of shot. Well, I fixed that. I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so, I... Um, I'm sleeping on the equivalent of a bedroll on the floor in the guest bedroom that's in the house. It's on the first floor. Um, the three bedroom, main bedrooms are on the second floor, and there's only one bathroom for the whole house. Um, growing up in growing up in house, only one bathroom. I can handle that. I have my ways. I don't need to go into details. Well, Jimmy said to me, he said, well, all idea is, is that you would have a place to sleep. You could still go to your house in the daytime to do your chores and take your cats. Okay, fine. Well, anyway, what was it like to stay in the hotel was um, pretty good overall, except for a couple of things that um, I found out. Number one, the roadway in used to be the Quality Inn. They're in the process of um, doing an improvement on it to fix um, some of the things that were wrong with it. Um, it was built in the 80s. The building is obviously had many, 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 many tenants in there. And uh, it was kind of worn torn. It was kind of worn out. So they're um, renovating it. They got done renovating most of the rooms. And the um, it looks pretty good. Um, the only problem is some of the rooms still have some little, mi little minor mites to fix. Um, but, you know, it's not bad overall. I mean, it, it could be worse. The The continental breakfast in the morning is kind of limited. I really kind of, be honest, I really wish they had a better selection of food. Um, they did not have very much for breakfast. They had free coffee all day, which was nice. I just didn't drink coffee all day. I, I If I did, I'd be shaking like... The San Andreas fault. Okay, I amount mean, of coffee that I would drink drink in there would be um, enough to seriously get me sick. Um, so I didn't want to drink too much of their coffee. The um, their TV reception was okay. Uh, it definitely was not Dish Network. It was like the equivalent of the Family Pack on Direct TV. Um, it didn't have very many channels. It had like maybe twenty channels. Um, which is okay, I guess. I can't really complain. After all, it was free. Um, and, uh, of course, we had, I, had a, I had a flat panel LG flat screen TV in my room. And, and uh, even though it was high definition, it was only used for analog. Oh, please stop that. And um, so I didn't really get a chance to get into much into TV shows. Um, as far as high definition goes. The Wi-Fi worked good. Um, I didn't have a problem with the Wi-Fi. In fact, they got some ideas for Wi-Fi connections for here at the campus. We can call it the campus because it's really what it is. It's a, it's a three-building uh, lot. It's got a lot of things on it I like. The phone system in the hotel was set up very much like mine, um, except they go by room numbers, not apartment numbers or extension numbers. Um, so that's the difference, um, because, yeah, we could set things up by apartment numbers, but, 
Uh, I have multiple extensions, and some part, most of the apartments only have one. So it would get very confusing if someone says, please connect me to apartment 9, and I'd have to say, what you want? Which extension? Um, or something like that, which would totally blow everybody's mind. Uh, so I'm not going to do that, and it's just not worth it. Uh, me and Tori are dating on and off. Um, we're not really dating steady yet, um, but we might be soon. I'm going to tell you that. I think we will be dating soon. Um, she's been spending a lot of time with me at the hotel, and uh, we had many, many wonderful nights together. And we enjoyed everything. And um, so, like I said, me and Dory spent many nights at the hotel. And in my in bed, you know, because there was two beds in a row, I could easily have her sleep in my one bed. But she didn't have to. She had her own. Um, and um, we went to dinner at a place called Christie's Diner. Um, a little expensive. Oh, not bad. If they had excellent uh, broiled New York sirloin steak, I had that. It was like. I had a 12 ounce size. I was like 12.95 with French fries and a salad, and um, and a couple sodas. And um, I think I spent between the two of us with the tip added in. It was like 44.14. Um, it was like 39.14 without the tip. So I gave him five bucks tip because I'm very not fair considering the fact that the waitress treated us decent. And um. Went to Kentucky for a chicken two nights in a row. Dory did not, his stomach did not agree with all that chicken at the buffet. I don't particularly blame her. Um, my stomach kind of was getting a little queasy too, especially all that oil, grease, and fat and fast food. And then we went to the Big Y and we ate at their pizzeria in the store, which was pretty good. We had or we had a, we had a medium pizza for the both of us. And um, it was pretty good. And, and um, it wasn't too bad price-wise. With all you can drink soda and stuff like that. And that's what we do. Went to, we went to Dunkin' Donuts. We went, I, went to, I went to the donut station on my own. Um, I went to Lowe's. I did walk around the store some. To check out all oh, the new technology they had for light bulbs and things like that, and looked up some things on Keystone Jacks and uh, looking at the different shapes because of my original project for the Ethernet cable, um, there was some questions about how likely this cable was going to fit in. To show you what I found out, I'm just get the cable here. Okay. Now, um, a standard Keystone Jack. Um, if I had a clear hole in a plastic box and try to place the jack in, it needs the rest of the frame to hold it in place. So it needs the lip. Um, so that's not going to work. And this is, of course, the cable we get using for the camera file on the porch. Whenever we get out on the porch. Jimmy hasn't started any work at the porch yet. I'm waiting for him to get started. And, um, so as soon as he gets off his butt, get started, we can get back to full time and enjoy my nice fixed bed. Which I fixed very unique way. Um, what I did was is I took some six and three eighth inch pieces of two by four, and and I saw the the the, the overall mat. The springs are pretty good in the, under, in the box foundation. It's just that the supporting springs were shot. So what I did was I took that in my hammer and I. Placed them by friction, just like you would a sound post on a violin. 
because I didn't have any screws. And um, I placed them in underneath so they're all taut and tight. Now the mattress is, is nice and firm. It feels almost like it's brand new again. Uh, it's going to be hard to get used to sleeping on that again. All right now, I'm sleeping on the floor, so I'm used to hard spots. Okay, um, uh, the bed at the hotel wasn't bad. Um, it certainly was a very firm um, foundation and mattress. Um, my back didn't particularly mind it too much. Um, it probably would have liked it if it was a little softer, but it wasn't bad. It was a place to sleep. The biggest problem I had as far as the money goes at the hotel room was the fact is that um, I wasn't sure how much money I should spend and how I should spend it because I kept running into that question about should I buy, you know, should I pay every single bill and just risk it or should I just pay every bill but the satellite dish bill? Um... I did the latter instead of the former because I figured that way if I am staying at the hotel for months, I would definitely need to have uh, more grocery money and I'd have to work out a deal with Dish Network anyway. Uh, fortunately enough, it didn't quite work out that way, so I can contact Dish Network next month and pay them off in full. All I can do is I can use my um, Capital One card first premiere. Um, <laughs> pay balance now um i really i mean like i said was it a bad trip no i am um, did i really enjoy it no i was bored there was nothing to do unless you wanted to spend money i mean there were things i wanted to buy and i couldn't because i didn't see a pharmacy there i did not see a rite aid i did not see a cbs um, so I was some things I couldn't buy and I wanted to buy. Um, I had to come all the way to Winston, for example, to buy the cat food and cat litter. Um, uh, they still have some of the big bag left, but not much, you know. And, uh, right now, like I said, the main, um, looks like for the main thing right now is that the landlord has to get off his butt skis and we're still working on the porch. And that should take care of that. And yes, these headphones did work very well at the uh, uh, hotel. I actually used them on my uh, iPhone and the adapter, and it worked wonderful for that purpose. Uh, so I did get a chance to uh, try out um, using that for music. The only problem I had with um, was listening to old-time radio shows with them because so many old-time radio shows were really hard to hear clearly. Because the way they were recorded and the way the headphones frequency response is um, and the sound curves, it was just too difficult to listen to. it. Um, and there's no equalizer on my iPhone. I couldn't turn up the trouble and turn on the bass. Uh, otherwise, that's what I would have done. Uh, I also found a few episodes of my friend Irma, the TV show, which really seriously, uh, on the Internet Archive, could really seriously use some uh, city work on it to get rid of the background noise, to make it more enjoyable. Um, of course, back then, they used to shoot uh, TV shows on film, and um, originally were done live. Uh, today, we don't do it that way, but they did back then. And, um, so that's an important thing. And, um, uh, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hmm? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Nosy. No. Okay, so anyway, um, uh, where was I? So, like I said, Jimmy called me up, um, not yesterday, but the day before. He says, I'm thinking about putting you guys in the yellow house. I said, okay, why didn't you think of that before? <laughs> I want to sell the way problems, or at least a good portion of them anyway. Um, and he kind of told me, well, I didn't really think about it. Mm, well, I would have thought about that first, considering the fact it was already vacant. I mean, it's not like there was anybody in there, really. 
So, uh, everybody's now happily, um, got the option to go into the yellow house. Of course, not everybody likes each other, apparently. Um, Steven doesn't like Nikki. Nikki, I guess, doesn't really like Steven. Uh, I don't know what the story with that is. I don't want to get in the middle of the politics in the house, but I'm just saying is this, that's what I've heard. Um, so he originally was going to tell Jimmy that he wasn't going to go because Nikki was going to be there. Well, he, Jimmy already told him that Nikki was not going to be there. So um, that means that right now it's just me and him. Um and eventually I started to say to myself, as since we can get some of the Wi-Fi over there, is why don't we bring one of the computers over there so we can do our home so he can do his homework and things like that. Uh with a Wi Fi setup. And the only computer right now I have that has Wi Fi on it, uh, is the blue and white Mac or blue and white Mac. Um, which would certainly work fine for editing text papers and stuff for school. Um trying to Use it to do video editing would be very, very problematic at best. But uh, if you're just talking about just um, writing, you know, writing your tape, your term papers to class using Open Office or Glorious Works, that shouldn't be a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, There's just a whole bunch of different things that we can do around here, and. Except the only thing is, is everybody keep, Jimmy keeps telling me, is, I'm going to be here for a little while, I'm going to be here for a little while, but he doesn't give me a date. And yet he hasn't even started to work yet, so we don't know what exactly his little while well means. It could mean, it could mean two weeks, it could mean two months. We don't know exactly how long his little while is. Um, I, mean, I, I, I don't know what he's going to do, I don't know what his plans are, but I just know it's his dad. Right now, I can tell you that um, Rusty and Fame are in my house. The house doesn't smell that sweet. It really doesn't. It smells like cat poo because the cat box. I cleaned it today, but you know the windows are closed because it's been cold. I'm not going to leave them open right now because the first holy Jimmy doesn't even have any heat on here. If if he had this place set for sauna like he usually does, yeah, these windows would have been wide open. But there's, it's just not warm enough to do it that way. Okay. So, hi, uh, what about the eye? Oh, uh, that eye, uh, you know, I don't know. So I think the right, the left eye is doing good. The left eye is fine. The right eye is the one that's having, giving me problems. Why? Because it's still got halos. Still foggy. It's not totally clear. Well, I ain't gonna be totally clear. And that, you know, not yeah, anyway. Yeah, well, it's been a while. Um, I have to keep working on it. But, uh, anyway, too. It's, that's another minor might. We're still working on that. I can see better now. I got my depth perception back. Even if it isn't a hell of a lot of depth of perception, it's still depth of perception, you know. But, I mean, the difference between my right eye and my left eye is definitely noticeable. I mean, my left eye is clear. My right eye is still fuzzy as hell. But, uh, well, I don't know. Well, anyway, um, so the next few days um, is going to be... Uh, a challenge to get things done. I'm going to try to get everything in, videos in, everything. I'm just going to do some quick uploads. I'm not going to really get too fancy with editing them down too much because it's just going to take too dang long. And uh, and I know that it's been so long since we've been in the studio and, and stuff like that. So I think you just want to see the work and, and hear more about things. And by the way, if you got any questions about what happened to me over there and how it was... Why don't you ask me? Just go ahead and ask in the comment section below. And if you want to ask me private questions, you can email them to B-I-C-H-E-L-A-3 at gmail.com. And, or, you, you want me on that too? Yeah. Or let me on finish job. L-U-M-I-F-I-N-I-S-D-R-A at gmail.com. I can certainly answer questions from my perspective. And, uh, of course, you can leave your comments below here, and we will get to it. And, um, 
That's what we do. Yeah. And of course, last but not least, is I appreciate your subscribers, the ones that have joined just recently. I had a couple new members. Hello, Mary, we tell you, and and I hope that you'll continue to watch the videos, as of course, as we go through our daily journey of life and um, deal with the new experiences, old experiences, whatever. So. Michelle and I, first of all, very thankful for your support. And we want you to know that we love you and that we want you to keep watching our videos. And don't be afraid if you have questions. We want to answer them for you. We want you to be a part of our lives. Thanks. You're welcome. And, and again, like I said... Any question will be answered. By the way, yes, Ryan Carey, like I told you, I am indeed. I'm a witch. I am a sorceress. And uh, maybe sometimes we need to do a video on what is a sorceress versus a witch. It's not much. There's some difference, but there's not much. Sorceress has mostly to do with power. Witches usually are doing things more for spiritual levels of... A witch can be a sorceress, and a sorceress can be a witch, but a pure sorceress is not a pure witch, right? There is a difference. Um, I am a sorceress, but I'm also a witch, okay? A pretty high up one, a pretty high up one. Um, so anyway, yeah, we've been, um, as I said, we'll keep watching, we'll keep working on the videos, and and uh, like I said, now my bed's fixed. I can, I can tell you my back is going to be happy. And, um, Tori's going to be happy, too. Yeah, she always complained that the bed always made her feel like she was going to sink into the basement or something. Well, she shouldn't sink into the basement anymore unless something else breaks in the bed. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to let you go. Don't forget to, you want to do it together? Like, share, or share, like, dislike. Share with your friends and enemies, and of course, subscribe always, always. And don't forget, we'll be here for you. We'll leave the light on, just like Motel 6. <laughs> yep, bye bye, bye bye, guys.